A hundred years ago, we relied on about a dozen main metals to survive the day, but now it's practically impossible without the entire periodic table. Rare earths have become a hot commodity, used as a bargaining chip in Donald Trump's tariff wars, exposing supply chain vulnerabilities and highlighting China's upper hand. But what are rare earths? They refer to a specific type of critical minerals that are particularly crucial for modern technology. Come inside this typical house and see how each room relies on critical minerals. It all starts when your smartphone alarm goes off in the morning. Speakers, display and vibration rely on a variety of mined metals. A single smartphone can include more than 30 minerals. LED bedroom lamps use critical minerals such as gallium and indium. Ceiling fans often use motors powered by rare earths. In the bathroom, the sink, bath, toilet and tiles are made of porcelain and ceramics that use minerals such as kaolinite, halazite, quartz and zirconium for strength and all that bright whiteness. The tiny motors in razors and toothbrushes use powerful permanent magnets made from rare earth elements. In the home office, laptops and tablets rely on a combination of minerals such as lanthanum and cerium for battery life and high definition display. And so too in the lounge. LED TVs and monitors need critical minerals for the colour accuracy of displays, brightness and energy efficiency. In the kitchen, they make up the permanent magnets used in electric motors that are found in most small appliances. It's clear we rely on critical minerals, but why are we hearing so much about them now? While we're increasingly reliant on them for our daily lives, they're also crucial for the defence industry and the clean energy sector, so governments are wrangling to secure reserves for the future. Nations aren't comfortable with China holding nearly all the power when it comes to processing and refining these strategically important resources. Currently, China controls about 80% of global production and more than 90% of rare earth refining. Not only does China have the world's largest rare earth reserves, it also leads in production and processing. The US and Myanmar are in second and third place. Australia was the fourth largest producer.